Good morning YouTube, Loft is here. I popped up to Damrose to borrow a bike again. I got one for you today, it's a brand new bike. This is a 2023 model. Never ridden one before, it's part of the genetic range of 500cc parallel twins from Honda. This one is the CL500, the Scrambler. Good looking bike, see you in a minute. Good morning YouTube, Loft is here. What do you think of this? It's got a few little extras on it. It's uh, the Honda CL500. It's got an aftermarket seat on, number board, and uh, a little fly screen. It's the 500 units, the one they use across across the range. It's, it's in four to five different bikes now anyway. Let's go for a ride. Put the old visor down. <coughs> So we'll go to the junction, take a left underneath the A30 and uh, let you have a look at it. Mickey Mouse ears. Yeah, they're okay. We've got a round digital LCD speed on with the dash very similar to the one from the rebel in fact this bike has got probably more in common with the rebel than any other of the models they've taken the main frame from the front where the engine is and they've redesigned the subframe and swinging arm section at the back to give it a totally different feel of course the rebels a low backed cruiser and this one's quite a tall Scrambler style. Let's just dip it around the island. Quite sure footed. Oh, toes going down. It's um, it's got Dunlops. Dunlop tyres on, seems okay. Let's drive it up the lane. Up to Nationals, no problem at all. Okay, let's just nip it around the corner here and show it what it looks like. See you in a minute. Here we go, YouTube. What do you reckon to this? It's another one in that 500 series. This is the Honda CL500, the Scrambler. Brand new for 2023. What do you think? Nice and narrow, fairly tall. Easy to get on pegs there, lovely. That's nice and tidy. I can fit on that absolutely no trouble at all. Bit of room for moving about. Probably even take a pilly, I'm not so sure. Let's have a close look. Okay, what do you think? Let's have a walk around. It's got a few extras on, of course. It's got the uh, headlight coal, brown seat. I'll come round and show you the number board. This one's got the number board on as well. How about that? Absolutely lovely. Fairly modern. Key on the side. It's a bit... Well, it's, it's the Rebel. It's based on the Rebel, of course. That's the, the main frame holding the engine is the Rebel. And they've altered the subframe at the rear it, to make it more of a motorbike style. So let's have a look close up. Put the, I put the dash on. I'm not sure what you can see. It's virtually the same as the Rebel Dash, it's round, it's got a gear indicator, and I should might start it and see what we think. There's no taco. Fairly muted sound, can you hear that? So we've got a clock along the top, we got a, a gear indicator, we got a Digi Speedo, it's LCD of course, uh, fuel gauge, all the bits and pieces. It's pretty nice really, it's got a bit of everything. So let's have a look what we've got across the top. Cable operated throttle, start stop, hazard warning, start button. Non adjustable levers coming across nice and steady, just pan across. This side, cable clutch, lovely, very, very, very light. Pass, high and low beam, on, 
indicators. It's got everything really in it. Shall we have a look at the stats? Let's read the stats out to you. Okay, so. Okay, here we are. Let's give his true name. This is the 2023 CL500 Scrambler. It's the fifth model to have this engine in the 500cc range. It's got a 471cc liquid cooled double overhead cam, four stroke, four valve twin cylinder. Pretty damn good looking, I think. What do you think? Okay, it's not sexy, it's not, it's not like an R90 or nothing, but it's got a bit of everything else on it. It's pretty damn good. 46 brake horsepower at 8,500, making it A2 compliant. 32 foot pounds at 6,000 revs. 12 litres of fuel in the tank, giving it an estimated 78 miles per gallon. 191 kilograms wet with a 790 mil seat height, so it's a low seat as well. Six speed chain drive. Let's come to the front. We've got 41 millimeter conventional telescopic forks with a 110, 80, 19, fairly rugged Trail Max Maxi to a tyre on a cast rim. It's got a single 310 millimeter two piston Nissin badged caliper. Let's just come around the back. Round section swinging arm, twin shockers. Standard twin shock rear, nothing special. We've got a 150 7017. Let me show you the tread on these tyres. It's a nice block tread, isn't it? I think that's quite good. A single 240mm one piston Nissan caliper on the back. Pretty damn good. Two channel ABS, LEDs all the way round, HISS, that's the Honda immobiliser, LCD dash. Comes in four colours, blue, green, grey and orange. They tell me the orange looks really nice, but I've not seen an orange one yet. But this list looks good. Let's start at six grand, £5,999 on the road. I believe this model comes in about 6.4. 6, 6,400. It's good, isn't it? I quite like it. I do. There's something about it. It's nothing, like I say, it's not a sexy bike, but I think if you wanted an everyday workhorse as a second bike, you wouldn't look further than this, would you? Anyway, let's give it a thrash up the hill. See you in a minute. So here we are, YouTube. Back on the CL500. Now, for those of you interested in the finer points, I've got my new helmet on today. I've got my x light on. My X903. First time I've used this helmet for vlogging. Well, proper vlogging I should say, I'm doing a re full review and I've got the DJI Action, well the DJI Osmo Action 3 mounted on the front so it's a new thing for me, I'm not sure what you can see on all bikes, this is quite a tall sit up and beg style bike so you probably won't see much of the, the dashboard but it's nice and clear in this light, it's a sunny day and I can see easily but in fifth gear doing a shade under 50 just drop it in top typical honda what you see is what you get nothing extra nothing more nothing less it'll do exactly what it's supposed to do it's a scrambler it's got fairly stiff suspension it's not bad it's all right it's, it's at 50, it's, uh, it's smoothing this road out. This has not got the best surface, but it's smoothing it out nicely. Uh, I hope you're not getting too much wind noise. Today, it's not as windy as it has been, but of course, on a naked bike, you get 50, 60 mile an hour, you do get some wind noise. Just dropping it in. I'm just riding around 50 mile an hour, top gear. And I've got to say, it's a very, very easy ride drop a gear, miss the pothole. These Dunlop trail maxes are quite sure footed in the dry, no problem at all. So we'll come round, see if we can catch the lights, move over for the tractor. We're currently green, yep we're over. So third gear up the hill, 
up to 50 no problem at all see if we can have a view of the screen it's lovely and sunny today we've had a cracking may bank holiday weekend long may it rest so we'll drop down into the 30 third gear 30 the Mickey Mouse here is an old camp I'm a big lad as you know I'm six foot five 17 and a half odd stone and my elbows do stick out quite a long way so I'm getting probably half a mirror which ain't bad it's okay I'm just holding a steady 30 down the hill into St Denis as I say this is A2 compliant so it's one of those that you can get on and give it as much thrash as you like and carry on riding when you pass your test and you don't have to do anything to it. It's not, you don't need adjusting or anything. 94 brake horsepower is the cutoff, so you need half that. Well, this is 46, so it's comfortable underneath that. So it's a bike you could grow with. Throttle's quite smooth, no jerkiness. Nice simple bike. I think there's a place for these bikes nowadays. Five, six, seven, eight grand bikes. They've gone mental in their bikes. 25, 30 grand for motorbikes. Can't believe it, can you? I wouldn't spend that on a car. Anyway, we go down past the calf. Few people about. Few kids about. They're not bothering us though, they're on the path. Round we go, up the hill, overtake these parked cars. Just the slightest little bit of squeeze, it goes from 26 to 30, through the chicane. Nothing about front or back, but we've got a car coming now, I'll just pull in for him. There we go. Caddy on up the road. As I say, this clutch lever is so light, it's unbelievable. It's a feather, like a feather. You can change gear with one finger. <laughs> so we're still in the 30, coming up to the 50 zone. I'll just cog down. Build the speed a little bit. We're going to take a right turn here. The indicator switch is below the horn, which is a bit of a pain, but still. So here we go, third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, 60. Drop it into top. If you notice, there was all clutches changes. Sweet as a nut, very easy. We're holding a steady 60 mile an hour through the National. Past the quarry entrance. Effortless. We we'll drop two cogs, a bit of brakes, and drop it in. Pothole still there. Yeah, you can have some fun on these little bikes. You wouldn't want to go no faster than National, would you, round here, to be fair? So here we come down to the main road, we're taking a right. Brakes are a bit green, it's not done many miles. All clear. Take it round steady. Slow moving, absolute doddle. Here we are. Third gear. Nice and steady down past the bus under the bridge. Yeah, third gear, no throttle, it's keeping it at 26. That'll do nicely. As we open up, just apply a bit of pressure on the throttle slide and there it goes, 30 mile an hour. Let's see what fourth gear is like. Fourth gear, 30. Yeah, no problem at all. No lumpiness. 
They've got these engines right to be fair, they've been making them long enough, they ought to have. Yeah, that's no problem at all, 30 mile an hour. Let's just drop it back into third and build up into the national. There we go. Into fourth. Drop it at the bend, a little bit of brakes. No problem. We'll go fast the tip entrance and we'll have a look at these brakes. We're all clear behind. I'll just slow down a 45. Put the back brake on. There's no pulsing. There's not a lot of anything. It's um, very, very green. It'll need bedding in a bit more, that will. But it's just more of a stability control, if you like. Same again, 45, nothing behind, all clear, front brake. Bit of fork dive, which you'd expect. Slightly longer forks than the Rebel. It's okay. I'll just wait till we get round the bend and I'll put front and back on while we go down the hill. Here we are. Going down the hill, steeper than it looks, front and back. Yeah. As I applied quite a bit of force to the front, the back lifted slightly. There was a, a certain amount of pulsing through the ABS, but it wasn't too bad. So here we go. Nice and steady, drop it in. Tank's ever so narrow for a big lad. It feels like I'm squeezing my knees together. Up to national speeds, of course. Yeah, this is a nice little bike, this. It does what it says on the tin. Back in the third over the bridge. All clear, nobody about. Let's get it back up to national. Smack on 60, fifth gear. As I say, this uh, this hill is steeper than it looks. We're in top now. Easily old to steady, constant line. The shocks on the back are fairly compliant. Yes, yeah, nice little bike. I've said it again. They've got a good range with these 500s, so you've got to pick the one you like. If you're moving up to a slightly bigger bike from a 125, take your pick on which style you like. Like I can say, there's five of them, one for everyone. Back in the 50, we're going to go straight over at the island. Underneath the A30 and give it a run down the hill. A little bit of breakage. We're clear. Into third. I'll keep it in third, we'll do a third gear roll on down the hill. Here we go. Moving out. Okay, so we're doing 7 out 70 mile an hour. I'll move back across. This bike will cut a pulse 70 without trying. I suppose if you was on the autobahn, although you get a lot of wind blast, you'd probably get 80 out of it, but I don't think that's where this bike wants to be. No, I don't think. Uh, thrashing it and giving it lots of revs is where it wants to be. You're better off you're better off riding that torque between 40 and 65. I think that's where this bike's happiest. Just go around the island. All clear, nice and quiet. How about that? Okay, we're safe. We'll just pop it up the hill. Past the caravan. Here we go. Easily dispatched. It's lit 70 in 5th gear, there we go, into top, I'll just throttle off. So as I say, there's 5 models in the range, you, you phase your money and you takes your chance. 
for six grand is a lot of bike, isn't it? Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've enjoyed making it. So if you have, click on the like, subscribe, ring the little bell. Ask me a question, whatever you like. I'm only too pleased to answer it. I say thank you again to Mark at Damrolls for lending me the bike. We're nearly back now. So I'm trying to say to that. So. This is the lofty bike, yeah? Saying, ten half an hour.